Okay, hello everybody. So I wanted to do a video on my leprosy box sets. And um, before I do that, I just want to show you this death leprosy CD. Now I bought the CD years ago now. I must have bought it in 2007 or 2008. I can't remember anymore, but um, the front features the really cool artwork by Edward J. Repka. The back has a picture of the band and track listing as well. The inside has some uh, information and also lyrics as well as the thanks list and even some death merchandise information on the bottom there which is pretty cool. The CD itself is a nice bright red CD with the combat label on it and the back inlay also has a picture of the band or pictures of the band rather. Now <clears throat> getting into the actual uh, box set here inside of the box set is a death leprosy slip mat which is pretty nice it's a very nice material one-sided as well and um, I've been using this one lately it's kind of replaced my lepr um, I'm sorry my spiritual healing slip mat as of lately um, under the slip mat is actually a sleeve that I made for the box set itself so if you guys want to learn how to make those I actually have a video on my YouTube that shows you how to make that um, but yeah it's a really cool slip mat also comes of course with the actual box itself and uh, the box is really nice high quality it's glossy and in fact uh, the death logo has a very nice metallic foil stamp to it as you can see there also the actual album title has it as well And uh, I just want to point this out before I go any further. Um, if you look at the older pressings, like this one, um, it seems like the artwork was a lot more reddish compared to the Relapse Edition. This one looks a lot more pink. Um, but yeah, it's really not a big deal. I don't really mind it. But I just want to point that out for people that are interested. Um, the box actually opens up like so. So you can fit the materials inside of here. The spine has um, leprosy written on it and deluxe edition. The back has a rough sketch of the leprosy artwork, which is really, really cool looking. As you can see here, side C and side D has rehearsals from September 1987 as well as December 1987, which is uh, really cool. I, I really enjoy uh, hearing death demos and rehearsals so that was a really nice addition to have um, inside of the box set what you can expect is first of all the actual LP itself so here's the the LP artwork on the back is the rough sketch of the leprosy artwork as I've shown you before and also it comes with a, an insert which is really cool because it features two large photo collages of the band during the leprosy era which of course was Rick Ross, Bill Andrews, Terry Butler, and Chuck as well. And here's the back, which features more photographs. So this one actually also opens up like a gatefold. And it has a picture of the band liner notes lyrics 
and a thanks list and some more credits. So yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. <coughs> um, the actual LPs themselves come in this really cool splatter vinyl, which is pink with blue and orange splatter. Um, side A on these LPs are kind of, it's kind of hard to see because of the colors that they use. Um, but side B and side D is pretty easy to see because they use blue and silver on this one. But yeah, the LPs themselves, they sound great. Um, I don't know if well, what mastering they use for this. I don't know if they did a remaster. I don't remember anymore. But I will say this, that even the even if it is a remaster, it sounds really great. It definitely really does. I mean, they did the recordings justice on, on this uh, pressing as well. So, um, yeah, I'm really happy with the sound quality. And also, uh, you guys should know that I'm a really big fan of splatter vinyl. So I really do enjoy that they uh, did this. And this is actually the work of Pirates Press as well, which I'm a big fan of Pirates Press. So, yeah, the LPs, they look really cool. And also, the second LP uh, comes with the jacket, which um, I failed to mention this actually in my spiritual healing box sets, but um, if you can see here, I'm going to try to catch it with the glare. Actually, I don't even think I'm going to be able to. But um, basically, what I'm trying to get at here is um, there's actually a death logo here that's um you can catch it with the glare normally the camera's not picking it up for some reason but there's actually a gigantic death logo here across the side which you can see with the glare of the light uh, but additionally it also comes with a lot of um uh, flyers for their shows a lot of shows that they did with dark angel back then also the original leprosy handwritten lyrics So yeah, and uh, the back has original lyrics for Born Dead. More Dark Angel flyers. Pull the Plug lyrics, which is a very uh, popular death song. So that's pretty cool to have. Now I really like this. Um, this is actually... A signed CD of def of uh, leprosy, and uh, that's actually really really cool. I really like that they included that on there. Um, actually, as you can see, I'll even pull mine out here. You can see that it's the same CD, so that's pretty cool. Um, and the last thing that this box that has is this giant newspaper. Um, leprosy thing. It's a little odd. Um, from what I can gather from Discogs, this is actually replicated from the original LP. Although I will say that um, I haven't been able to see where this is replicated from, so if anybody can give me some information on this, um, I would like to know about it. Because, um, yeah, I don't really know. It's a bit of an odd thing to include. I would expect like a leprosy poster or something like that, but yeah, that's what it includes. But yeah, anyway, that's uh, the Death Leprosy box set um, in its entirety. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, I just want to make a quick reminder that my contest is still going. It ends in February 15th, if you guys are interested in entering. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you all later. Goodbye.